And what everybody knows Turing for is the code breaking work he did at Bletchley Park. But go back to the 1930s, he's doing his PhD in Cambridge. And there's one of the big mathematical problems of the age, the Entscheidungs problem, that translates as the decision problem. Can you automate mathematics? Turing set himself the task of attacking the Entscheidungs problem and solved it very, very quickly. But to solve it, he invented a kind of mathematical machine, a machine that follows instructions. And at the beginning, it was just a mathematical abstraction. But his work on code breaking machines in the Second World War leads him and a bunch of other people to realize that actually you could build these Turing machines. So it's kind of one of the great ironies of mathematical history that computers get invented as a byproduct. I mean, he wasn't setting out to invent machines that could do things. He was setting out to solve the Entscheidungs problem and he had to invent computers in order to do that.